Swallow your pride. Don't let your lip react. You don't want to see my hand where my hip be at. Now that's how you're supposed to drive. The Will Smith slap her around the world. Chris Rock gets slapped. Now I'm just playing. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. In this video, I'm going to talk about Teofimo Lopez and his recent comments. Without further ado, let's get to it. This is what Teofimo Lopez said. It's a made fight. He was asked about the George Cambosos fight, a fight that just got announced for ESPN. And this is what Teofimo Lopez had to say. It's a made fight for Devin Haney. The whole ish was a scheme, bro. They had DAZN. I was on a DAZN platform. They gave it to Cambosos because they knew what I was gonna do with it, meaning the belts. I was gonna drop them belts. He didn't say belts, but he said I was gonna drop them. So he's saying I was gonna drop the titles. So they had to give it to Cambosos to extend this, right? It's a long process. It's a longer process for Devin Haney to become quote unquote undisputed. It's all a game. They paid that ish. No, everything's already made. Everything. I had to see that for myself. They already knew who won the fight before the they even effing announced it. And then he was asked a winner for Devin Haney, George Cambosos, to which Teofimo Lopez replied, Uck, both of them. End quote. Now, the link is in the description. This is direct quotes, and I made this graphic for you guys. Direct quotes from a Fight Hype interview that Teofimo did. Make sure you guys follow me at Boxing Ego One. The fire content. Listen, I looked at my YouTube analytics in the last 28 days, and you know something, it showed me something. The last month, 50% of you that watch my videos subscribe. The other 50%, they didn't hit the subscribe button. Maybe you forgot. Maybe you didn't know it was important. Maybe YouTube unsubscribed you. Consider subscribing. It's free. Cost you nothing. Worst case scenario, if I'm not dropping the illest content in all of boxing, you can always unsub. Back to it. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, Teofimo, he's done this shocking, and I say shocking loosely because I've been in the game of boxing for so many years, I don't get shocked. None of this stuff is shocking. When fighters pull out, fail drug tests, I mean, when you've been around, like I've been around double digit years, you don't get shocked anymore. But I'll say that for lack of a better word, loosely. These shocking allegations, Teofimo has basically said that he lost to George Cambosos and the fight, he was bound to lose the fight either way because basically, and I'm paraphrasing, I read the direct quote, which you guys can check, link in the description. But he said the whole thing was a scheme. In the words of French Montana, Rick Ross, oh, and Drake, stay scheming. T.O. wanna fight with me. Stay. He said it was a scheme. The zone had it out for him. Now, I got several things to say regarding this. For one, to me, that was cap. Let's break it down. For starters, Tio Fimo fought a foolish fight, in my opinion. Tio got skills, he got talent, but he came out trying to blaze, trying to blaze disrespectfully George Cambosos. And from what I know about boxing, that's not the way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna just bomb on everybody, even if you have power, and disrespectfully come out swinging and guns blazing and think that's going to get you and yield you the results that you want so to me teofimo lopez had a bad game plan and it's like the more teofimo's team talks the worse it gets for his team because his team are saying things that kind of conflict with each other so on one hand post fight teofimo lopez told the whole world y'all know i beat that boy Adrian Broner voice. He basically said, I won the fight and there's no way I lost to this guy. But then his team, they kind of made a bunch of excuses saying his esophagus blew up, right? And he couldn't breathe. And it was like 300 pounds strapped to his lungs. And his dad's doing interviews recently saying his son couldn't breathe. And it was like being shot twice in, in the chest and having holes in your body and 
things like that. So you mean to tell me with, and he said, his dad said this, his dad said, my son was uncoachable, uncoachable, right? So you mean to tell me that Tio couldn't breathe, blew out his esophagus. Now they actually added to it and said he had elbow and hand surgery in the last month or last few days. He's had two surgeries because he's had nagging injuries. So a crippled version of Teofimo, but post fight, he said he won the fight. So you mean Teofimo, he's Superman. All of a sudden he Clark Kent. He has all these handicaps and ailments, ailments and things like weighing against him. And despite all these odds, he really believes he beat George Cambosos. This is unbelievable. You're, you're saying he has, like, I know he's had asthma. That's been well documented. But you're saying all this esophagus stuff and messed up hand. And you want me to believe that he won the fight. So it's like you kind of have to, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You kind of have to pick your battle. Either you really strongly believe you fought the, the fight of your life and and won the fight. Or you, you were all beat up and, you know, battered and messed up then with these new findings that i just went over which is saying that it was a setup from the zone and saying the fix was in basically and it was a scheme now it's like you're all over the place so you believe you won you were crippled and handicapped and busted up and couldn't breathe and esophagus exploded and you know your gut was leaking and all this other IBS or whatever, whatever else you want to add to the medicals, right? You have asthma, blah, 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 tack it all on, right? But then now you're saying no matter what, DAZN was going to set you up because they knew you were dropping the belts and you were going to drop the belts and they didn't want that process for Devin Haney, right? So as a result, what they decided to do was to remove you from the equation by setting you up i mean this sounds purely delusional and to me the scary concept is that means to me that teofimo is having a tough time embracing the loss if your vision is so cloudy that you're seeing this fight and these things you if you truly believe them to me it sounds delusional and ironically enough to add insult to injury Tio Fimo previously did an interview and says, stop being a beezy to Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder back in November of 2020. And I've already covered this and made a separate video. You guys check that out. But just so you guys know, Tio Fimo Lopez says, don't, he tells Wilder to stop being a B I T C H after making a number of wild excuses for Tyson Fury defeat. So, Oh, how the mighty have fallen Tio Fimo Lopez was saying that Wilder was being a wuss and being a, a beezy and making up excuses for his loss. I can't wait to hear what old media got to say about Teofimo. Remember, people were saying, oh, Wilder's wearing headphones and, you know, he doesn't want to embrace his loss. He's making all these wicked, wild, tall tales up. So what is Teofimo? I mean, this is worse than Wilder because Wilder had kind of, a main cause Tyson Fury's a cheater and put that out there and everything was connected to that this is like some Alex Jones level conspiracies like he's saying the zone set him up he's saying he won the fight he's saying he was handicapped with the blown out esophagus and it was like he was shot in the chest and had holes in his body or whatever and could have died and then now he's saying he has bone spurts and elbow spurts and it had to get surgery and now he's saying that Devin Haney's going to win. But then when when he could have fought Devin Haney, he was saying Devin Haney was weak. I mean, this is, I mean, it's just all over the place. There's no nice way to put it. That is just what it is. All over the place. It sounds de in complete denial. And, you know, you got to pray for that. You got to pray for that situation. The other thing that's telling is when he was a guest on the top ranked telecast over the weekend for the Bear Shelt fight, they were asking him and Tim Bradley asked, how are you up here mentally? So that's telling because if a person got to ask you that, then that means people are concerned. Like if, if you don't have any concerns about someone's mental health, 
that's probably not a conversation that you're going to even a question you're not even going to ask because you don't have any doubts but people see how teofimo is moving and it probably is is worrying them that's simply why timothy bradley on national tv asked him he said yeah all the physical stuff is cool but how are you up here because i think deep down inside whether people want to say it as bluntly as me or not they see that teofimo his behavior is is bizarre his statements are pretty bizarre and it looks like he's having a tough time dealing with it i'm the best in the business subscribe to the channel you won't be sorry. All your boxing news, I got you covered. I'm out. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, Gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.